Hi guys, and welcome to the Family Fudge. Today we're headed to Aldi. We're actually on vacation right now to Disneyland, and it's about mid-trip, so we wanna go to the grocery store and pick up a few things. And we're going to Aldi because we don't have an Aldi near us, so I'm excited to see what they have. So come along with us. The Family Fudge, the Family Fudge, they are mostly sweet but full of nuts. Okay guys, so just a quick vacation update before we head to Aldi, because you probably wonder what's up with my hat. Well today is actually my birthday, and it's been raining all day, so I went ahead and picked up this hat to hide my messy rained on hair. We spent the morning at Disneyland, and this afternoon we came back to the hotel to take naps and to rest, and now we're gonna go head to the grocery store, and then later tonight we're gonna have dinner at the Rainforest Cafe, so I'm super excited about that. But as you can tell, we still have Mackenzie sleeping, and we still have Lily sleeping. We just left her in the stroller because she was passed out in there. For this trip, we're actually staying at the Grand Legacy again, which I made a full video review about. If you're curious, I'll go ahead and link it down below. But they have a full fridge and microwave, so it's really convenient to bring your own food. And let me just show you right now, it's getting slim. We've been here for a few days, and we just have a few things left. So we're gonna go ahead and try to fill this up for the rest of the week. And right before I go, I'm gonna show you the view because it is really cool. You can see it looks pretty wet still outside. But right across the street, that is Disneyland. Right over there, there's DCA, that direction, and Disneyland is right over there. Isn't that cool? And now on to Aldi. And of course, when we get back, I will show you everything that we picked up. Okay guys, we just made it to the Aldi. It only took us about five minutes to get here, but unfortunately we are not prepared. We did not bring any quarters, and I'm pretty sure you need a quarter to get a cart here. So I'm gonna go see if I can get some change first. Now, even though we're on vacation, we still have our rules, right? Yes, yes. What are the rules? No screaming, no crying, no running away, no serious stuff, no being weird, no yes. falling over. And right, so let's go. Jackson just made a really good observation. Uh, this whole place, it kind of is like grocery outlet. That's but right, it's just like the grocery outlet that we have at our house. Let's go. I'm always very surprised how many gluten-free items they have at Aldi. There's quite a lot to choose from and they're actually pretty good um, on price as well. Now I know a lot of these are processed foods, but when you're on vacation, this is actually really convenient. What'd you pick? Um, I still have to figure it out yet. Yeah, I told still. them they could each pick one snack I mean, I need or treat, some. but just one, okay? Hey, what? for the video. I think Griffin wants to get the lemon bread. Check out these really nice candles, you guys. They're only $3.99, and they're the same size as you get at Bath & Body Works, and they come in lots of different scents, and they actually smell really good. Obviously, I don't need any candles at the hotel, but they are nice. They also have a lot of organizing products right now. We have this one for shoes. We have one for jewelry and purses. Oh, those are really cute. I don't think those are gonna fit you though. All right. We're all done now. Let's head back to the hotel and then on to Disneyland. Okay guys, so we just made it back from Aldi and the kids and John are actually downstairs having pizza for lunch because they have a pizza restaurant downstairs, it's really convenient. So I'm gonna go ahead and put all of these things away and then we'll head to the park because it looks like the rain is finally dying down, I hope so. Now this morning when I woke up, there was actually a rainbow over Disneyland, which is really cool to wake up to on my birthday. But anyway, back to the groceries. I feel like I should start with the non-food item first because I normally do when we're at home. I ended up picking up this pack of socks for myself, not because I love them or anything, I just needed them. Because wouldn't you know it, I packed everybody's suitcases perfectly but forgot my own socks. So I was happy to find these at Aldi and they were like $4.99. Hopefully these will be comfortable. 
Now moving back over here, I picked up a carton of almond milk. Now I was kind of bummed to pick up this big one because it's gonna take up a lot of space in the fridge, but I use almond milk just about every day and so I needed some. This is the vanilla unsweetened. For my husband, I picked up two different boxes of these little frozen stuffed sandwiches. So it's basically like a pizza pocket, but it was really surprising to find these gluten-free. I've never seen that before. So there's one Southwest and one pizza flavored. Those will be nice to pop right into the microwave while we're here. For the kids, I picked up some fiber bars. This one is the cinnamon coffee cake, and this one is the brownie. Those are nice and easy for a snack. For myself, I picked up the kale, quinoa, and minestrone soup. Like I said, it's been raining and cold, so this will be nice to come back to after a day in the park and easy to heat up in the microwave. For Lily's treat, she picked out the Hello Panda cookies. We also got some fruit snacks. We've never tried these before, but they're fruit snacks. So I think the kids will end up loving them. We also got some white bean and basil hummus. This looks similar to the one I get at Trader Joe's, so it'll probably be really good. Over here, I picked up two of these organic coconut water drinks. These are really tasty. My husband and I like those. For the kids, I picked up the juice pouches. These are the organic fruit ones. I know they're really gonna love these. They've seen the Capri Suns on a couple of the menus here, and they've been bugging me for those, but I thought that these would be a cheaper alternative to buying them at the park. Back over here, we have some Werther's Originals Chewy Caramels. This one was Jackson's pick. I let each one of the kids pick their own treat, so that's what he picked. I also got some more string cheese. My husband picked out the vegetable chips and I picked up the black bean and corn tortilla chips. Over here I picked up some mini croissants and we got some donuts. Not the fanciest, but nice and easy to go with breakfast in the morning. I'll probably serve this with some strawberries and blueberries just so I can feel a little bit better about it. I also got this nourish bowl and you're actually supposed to serve this warm, which is kind of interesting because it looks like a salad but it's a bacon maple Brussels sprout salad with a sweet maple glaze. So let me know in the comments down below if you've tried this from your Aldi and if it was good or not. Hopefully it is. I also got some spreadable cheese. This is the sharp cheese, so this will go on some crackers for snacks. I picked out these. I'm a big fan of coconut. And they look really tasty. Over here we have Mackenzie's pick. She chose the lemon loaf cake, and these are pretty much like the ones you would get at Starbucks, but a lot cheaper. It was only $4 for this whole thing, so a lot cheaper than Starbucks. I was really happy to see lots of different kinds of kombucha at Aldi. I really like to drink this while I'm traveling because it's full of probiotics. I got two different flavors we've never tried before. This is the cherry and black currant, and this one is the Asian pear and ginger. Moving over here, we have my treat of choice. I've actually never tried these before, but they were on clearance and they looked really interesting. They say that they're cookies, but they look like little chocolates. Over here, we got some mac and cheese. Basically, it looks like the Aldi version of Easy Mac, so I like that I can put it in the microwave in just a few minutes. I also got this cranberry almond chicken salad, and they come in individual cups. So I'm hoping to take some of this in my park bag. And we'll also take some croissants and that'll be one of our lunches, maybe tomorrow. Lastly, I also picked up some little individual guacamole cups and these are in the mild, so they're not spicy. Hopefully the kids will like them. So it's six mini cups and I think that these will go really well with these. Okay guys, quick peek at hotel room fridge organization. I managed to fit everything in here. We've got some apples on top. We have some string cheese and yogurt. Our little salad is under there. Guacamole, breakfast sandwiches, yogurt, hummus, cheese, blueberries, strawberries, coconut water, kids drinks, chicken salad, more yogurt, pizza pockets, one apple, and some water. Of course, we have more water in the car. We also have our eggs, assorted drinks, Yes, look at these. Aren't these tiny and cute? I love those. We have some PB&J sandwiches and some almond milk. Right under the microwave in our first drawer, I have drinks and granola bars. In the second drawer here, we have our breakfast items, some bread, and our chips. And in the last drawer, I have just about everything else. 
Easy Mac and snacks, all kinds of stuff. But that's how I keep it all organized. Okay guys, thank you so much for joining me today. Now let me know in the comments down below, if you have an Aldi near you, what are your top three must purchase items? Because I would love to know for the next time we come and we go to Aldi. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.